a few minutes before seven o'clock, and uh, let's uh, before the hour ends, let's get uh, Doug Emmett once again, our Ameriprise financial advisor, and talk about what's moving the market. I bet these guys are moving the market. Yeah, can you believe it? One in every ten American dollars is spent inside Walmart. How right. are their earnings? Earnings out today. They they did beat uh, on the profit side and actually guided higher for the remainder of the year, uh, which is great to hear from the world's largest retailer. It's always a good sign that they're guiding higher. It's the revenue miss, the sales that they were a little light on, which is really kind of hurting the stock a bit, but the stock's been on a great run. Uh, the company saw growth mainly here in the U.S., which accounts for still 60% of their earnings. Um, they did see weakness overseas. They're trying to actually slow down their growth in some of the international markets, which um, some investors wanted to hear. They want to focus more on the U.S., so okay. good news. Uh, as we look for companies that are good indicators of how the economy is doing, uh, Cisco's got to be a good one. That's uh, that's the digital world. That's the digital world, the big tech bellwether, uh, and they also out with what their CEO called an unusually strong quarter, and I would say so when profits spiked by over 55%. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> In one, See, that's, in one quarter. That's going to mess with expectations for the next quarter. But <laughs> exactly. For now, they're happy. Exactly. They, they added 1,400 employees during the quarter, which is great to hear. But uh, also a main driver of the stock being up sharply today is the fact that they are going to raise their dividend by 75%. Uh, which wow. will make, make the stock be yielding about about 3%, which is great for investors. Wow. Okay, we're also talking about the limited today. I know I've spent a little money there at times, and they own right. a lot of different <laughs> stores, including Victoria's Secret. Right, exactly. They're out with their earnings. Now, they, they actually, it, they did beat estimates, but they were reduced estimates uh, from, from the quarter of last year. But uh, nonetheless, four quarters now in a row that they have exceeded estimates. Um, they also got it higher for the remainder of the year. So that, that's great to hear going into the fall shopping season. You oh, sell yeah. those $200 bras, you can make a lot of money. You, you can. <laughs> I can't go today without mentioning Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, the expiration of, we talked about it earlier in the week, the expiration of those stock, about 10%. Uh, the actual stock is is being uh, the lockup period is ending yeah, they today. They couldn't sell it until now. Correct, and the stock briefly broke below twenty dollars a share today, yeah, really. wow. uh, trading down another five percent. Almost half of what it came out at. Right. Yikes. Okay. Thanks, Doug. All okay. right, Doug. And if you have a question for Doug, you can just email him directly. Money at fox40.com. And let's go ahead and check in with uh, the seven o'clock hour. Find out what's happening now. Let's do it. I'm